crafty loving friends welcome to purpose my way i'm shelly thank you for joining me on this huge timu haul i have got so much stuff it's great but first i want to tell you i will have the link to timu down in the description they will be a 30 percent off code down there that you can use when you shop they're also having a huge spring promotion sale right now site-wide so check it out up to 90 percent off it's amazing so I love to shop for things that I'm going to use in my crafts because I DIY a lot. The really cool thing is they have free shipping, free returns up to 90 days, and they accept all credit cards, debit cards, and even the pay later program. So how could you lose with all those wonderful things? First of all, I can't go without this. This is amazing. There's a few different ones that they had. This is the solar system. It's a little night light, sits on a little wooden stand, and it's just a ball with the solar system inside. And it shows the sun, all the different planets around it, and then tiny little Earth down there in the front. I can't wait to show my granddaughter. If you haven't seen some of my videos, I have a four-year-old granddaughter who really loves to come over and craft and garden and whatever Grammy's doing she wants to do, which is awesome. So we're going to have a lot of fun looking at the solar system and talking about the different planets and where they are out there in space. I got this really cool apron. I can't wait to try this and wear it while I'm crafting. This is a fabric cloth material, adjustable, um, uh, uh, neck tie, waist tie. It's got a cool little pocket in the front. And I really like it and can't wait to use it while I'm DIYing. I have this really cool Easter sign. This is neat. This sits up onto a onto your door frame and then hangs down over the edge. So bright and colorful for Easter. I love the little bunnies sitting in the eggs. I got three of these little wooden boxes. These are really great. Just plain wooden boxes. Nothing's done to them. Nothing inside. It has a great little clasp. It has these little hinges on the back. And I got three of these because I'm going to be doing a DIY with these using Timu products that I purchased or that I received from them. So that's going to be really fun. So in a future video, watch for that. The next thing that I have is this uh, motion sensor light. This is charged by this little cord here and you charge it up and then you can stick it wherever you want. There is a magnet on there. So then you just peel the tape off and you stick it on there and you peel the other side off and you can stick it. And then when you want to recharge it, because that cord is so short, you just take, uh, just take it off the magnet charge it up and then put it back. This would be great under the cabinet. This would be great in the bathroom if you don't want to turn the light on, in your pantry, in your laundry room, wherever you can think of that you need a little light but you don't need to turn a great big light on. I love this rug again, four-year-old granddaughter. I think she's gonna love it as well. It's a big fuzzy heart. So cool. The back side has got this really nice material on it. This would make a great pillow if you were to add a backing to it and stuff it. But I really love this little rug. It could be a rug, wall hanging, whatever you want. All right. Oh, Christmas pillow. Look at this. Bright blue and black farm fresh Christmas trees. A little, it's not really a pillow. I guess it's a pillow cover. Got the zipper. Nice big opening to put your pillow in. Zip it back up. They had all different ones of these. And this was really pretty. Nice bright blue. These were really cute. These little gnomes. Little uh, fall gnomes. Then really cute little um, orange mittens. And the little sunflower on them and a little nose. This is the male and the female. You got the beard and then the braids. And then she has the little pumpkin on her hat. He has one as well, but it fell off. I've got to glue it back on. The um it fell off when I was unpackaging it, but it was my fault, not not the package fault. So very cute. I also got some of these clear stamps. 
they say you did it you're awesome sweet love and hugs just breathe happily ever after i'm always looking for little things to make tags with and hang them on stuff so i think these will be really great for different projects that i have i also got this really cool stencil i love this stencil it's the uh, flowers and the stems it's a nice big stencil and it's nice and thick too it's a thick thick plastic so very nice i also have i believe there's 16 in these this is these are like uh six inch stencils and this whole pack is about bees and honey so there's a truck with the gnome and um the honey bee a little honey pot in the back of the truck and then i'll just show you a couple of them oh this one says See if I get it the right way. This one says honey with the little bee. Very cute. Cute little stencils. So each individual one would make their own sign. Then you can take from this one and put some on this one. You've got so many different combinations that you could do with these. I do know there are two missing out of here because I already started using them for a project. For later on, I will show you what I do with them. But um, I wanted to use the bees for something, so I did take a couple out. Now, these are nice, thick stencils too, and they wash very well as long as you wash them fairly quickly after you use them. You know, you don't want to let your paint sit on them, but it works really well. Cleans up nicely. This one is an Easter set. Again, I believe the 16 six inch. Easter with the little bunny ears. I'll just show you a couple of them. This one says Happy Easter Day. Very cute. Easter with a little chick in the egg. Love it. And again, you get 16 individual signs you can make or use them for whatever you're going to use them for. Or you can mix and match and make whatever you want with them. So many different combinations. Great. I'm going to show you this macrame moon. This is so pretty. I think this was around $8, but I can't remember. I'll have all the prices down at the bottom, but, or somewhere on the screen, but they got little pearls on there. And then it's got the little hanging mesh moon. And then you've got the macrame knots down the middle. And it hangs quite a ways, goes quite a ways. I don't know how tall that would be, probably three and a half feet, maybe. Here's a little statue with a little man and a woman. This would be great for a cake topper. A uh, great gift to give for a newly married couple or uh, anniversary, anything like that. Thought it was really pretty. It's fairly heavy weighted. It's definitely like a plastic, but it's weighted at the bottom. And it's just very elegant, I think. All right, here's a scrubby. I got, I got two of these. You have the little handle up top and you got like a little scuffy pad on there. You can do your dishes that, you know, are really hard to get clean. Here's another apron I got. This one is for my granddaughter. Uh, I thought the little girl there on the front was cute with a little heart and it's a vinyl. So when she paints or does anything like water or anything like that, it's easy to clean up. It has the little neck thing and it's got the ties. And then also it has the pocket on the front. And I just thought it was so sweet. She's gonna love using that while she helps Grammy do some painting projects. I got this really cool basket. This is a rope basket. It's got the leather handles. And then it's just got the hole so you can get your fingers through there. It's a nice deep basket. And this is, I think it was around $8. Great price for a basket like this. It's a very nice, pretty, I want to say there was a few different colors. I just got the lighter color, but it's really pretty. Great quality basket for $8. I got, because I'm always having trouble remembering my bags and, um, they always take over my back seat, my grocery, reusable grocery bags. I got this, actually I got two of them. 
Um, I may give one away as a gift, but this one's a pink one. I think the other one I got was green maybe. And um, it just rolls out and then the bag opens up inside. And you, this part that holds the bag, there's a little mesh thing on the side and it will take, and you can take and tuck this in while you're shopping. Uh, it's got the hook on it. So when you're done, you just turn the top and it makes that bag go right back in. And that's your shopping bag. And it's quite a good size too. There's the mesh bag on the side and you just take that and tuck that in. And then here's your bag and it's got a candle and it's a pretty good sized bag. That's the size of it right there. And then when you're done, you just take this little plastic thing out and just start turning it and it sucks that right back in and then it's just that small little pod. Okay, a little plastic vase. It's got like a little bumpy on it. It's just plastic, little opening on there. Very cute little vase. You could do some molds on there or some, um, just some stenciling or something, or you could leave it just the way it is and put some flowers in it. Speaking of flowers, I have some greenery here. This was from Timu as well. Put some flowers in there, have them hang over the side. How pretty is that? I love it. These little flowers are great. They're, um, they are plastic with little white flowers, and I believe they had other colors as well. I want to say there was yellow, pink, I think. Um, but yeah, it's got a nice long, I just love how they, I love hanging, the hanging greenery. I think that looks so good. I got the number five, uh, it's like a gradient balloon, so it's got all the little colors that kind of rainbowish. My granddaughter will be five this year, so I got her this balloon. I'm not going to open it just because it probably will get a hole in it by the time her party comes. So we're just going to leave it in the bag, but it's very cute. I'm going to do some pictures with those. These I'm excited about because I really could use some new ones. These are kitchen towels. These were like 79 cents for two. They have the little hook on them, the little loop on both of them. I like the color and I love the gingham ribbon around the edges and they're very soft. One side has got like some bumpies on them and then the other side is a little more smooth so I think it helps scrubbing but get two of those for like 79 cents I think. So pretty good deal. Got some beads with the tassels on the end, tassels on each end. And the beads are nice. No, I think these were two something, two twenty nine or two thirty nine, but nice beads, very nice, nice uh, large beads, and the tassels are very nice as well. It's made very well. I love using these, just plain the way they are. They make a great um, part of your vignette to just curl them up and just set them somewhere, you know, and it just adds to it. So it's very nice. Okay, this was called a makeup tray, but I'm going to use it, as you can see, as a, a paintbrush organizer. So normally you'd put your brushes for your makeup in here. I don't do a lot of makeup, but I do do a lot of painting, and I always need organizing <laughs> with them. Uh, so uh, this is what I'm going to use mine for. Very easy, came just uh, all flat, these little legs came right out and they popped right in um, and uh, very easy to put together and I like all the little different sized holes so you can use different sized paint brushes or makeup brushes or whatever you choose to put in there. I got a couple of these molds too. I got the butterfly mold. Um, it's just a little silicone mold. Very nice. And I got the leaves, another silicone mold. Now you could use your hot glue in these, you could use your clay, you could use your resin. Um, nice and stretchy. They feel very um, good quality. Thick. This is so cute. This is a little Christmas ornament, little angel Christmas ornament. 
She's got their little legs dangling down there. And I got these little, um, these little cubes. I think there's 10 in here, two, four, six, eight, 10, yeah. 10 little cubes. And I thought they would be great for little feet for uh, my little trays or little projects or something. They'd be great to play a game with, put color, paint a color on each side and make up some kind of a game. You could stack them and make little tiny uh, snowman ornaments or uh, something like that. But I, I wanted them for little feet because I like the shape of them. I think they'll look really cool. So that's probably what I'll use them for. Now here's a couple of kitchen gadgets that I really like. This one is a spice container comes with a little dome lid on it so you can see inside. It's got some spoons and different compartments. And you put your spices in here, your salt and your pepper and whatever. I can't eat a lot of salt, or at least I'm not supposed to. So we use a lot of spices to add flavor instead of the salt. And if we're gonna go camping or traveling, instead of taking a whole container of spices, if we're just gonna be gone for a day or two, we can um, just take a little bit and put it in each compartment. They give you little spoons and you can just scoop it out, season your meal, and it's all set. This one's really gonna be fun when I try it. I wanna try this out really soon. This is a little blender, a little mixer. Um, it says portable electric juice cup. And it has the little hanger so you can carry it with you. It's definitely a travel size. So if you're gonna be traveling and you wanna make your own little smoothie or whatever, it's got the little uh, strainer there on top. So if you don't, if there's like ice in there that you don't want in your drink, and then it just comes apart. Easy to clean. And then here it looks like a little blender inside. It comes with a little cord to charge it because it is portable. So you don't have to plug it in to have it work, but you do have to charge it. And then the little button is here on the front. Just push that and then underneath it is the little charging port. And it does come with the little cord to go with it. I just don't have it right up here with me. So easy to put together, easy to clean. It did run for a second when I first got it. I turned it on and it sounds very strong. So I can't wait to try it and see if I can chop up some, some fruit, make a little smoothie or something. I got these cute little, there's five in a package, the little thumbs up, and these are to hold cords. So, of course, being a YouTuber, being, um, you know, editing and having all the different equipment that you need, it's really nice to be able to put your cord with your charger on something so that it doesn't get lost down wherever you're working and fall down off the desk. Uh, it holds it right up inside that little hand and then your charger would be up top and then when you're ready to use it, you just pull it up and plug it in. And then this will hold it for you, so whenever you need it. It's got a sticky on the back. I bought two packages and one of them's already in use. I've got, I've got them all stuck and all my little chargers are stuck right in there. We'll see how long that lasts, but I really think those are gonna help me keep my uh, cords organized um, and figure out which cord goes to which machine. Okay, only a couple things left. Now this one, I will put a video up of what it looks like because it probably won't turn on here. So these are outdoor solar lights. It has a little button on the bottom that you click and then when you when it gets dark, they come on and they probably won't hear because it's too much light. But, um, but they come on when it gets dark and go off when it gets light. So these would be great. Um, you know, out on your deck, when you're walking around, somebody doesn't fall down. Uh, you can even use these in your house too. Just make sure you put them somewhere where they will recharge um, during the day and then put them wherever you need to at night so that they can come on and help you see a little bit better. I got, there's two in a package. So I got two of those. And I believe they are three wide by six tall. Last but not least is this really cool jewelry box. I love the wood on it, the wood stain. This would be great for a man or a woman, just because of the look of it. And then inside you have your rings, your bracelets, watches, 
whatever you choose. Uh, your necklaces and your mirror there. You can see all my mess and my lights. Sorry about that. Uh, and then you have a drawer on the bottom. This was around, I believe, $28 for this. But what a great gift to give somebody. And then you could take, if you wanted to, if it was gonna be a specialized gift that you wanted to stencil on the top of it or put molds on it, you could definitely decorate it up even more than it already is. So I hope you enjoyed this Timu haul. And don't forget, go down in the description, get that 30% off code that I have down there. Click on the link that I have down there and go shop. They have up to 90% off on their spring sale and so many good things to choose from. So check it out and have fun. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.